we try to win. But we're going to see. We're going to see. I don't know. I'm going to OG. I'm going to go to the top. Kind of tell. I've been got a haircut, but hey, look, look, look. We're not here for talk about the cunt. Look, it's January 1st, 2024. Man, this quality is not as good as my camera. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like the camera quality is okay. But anyway, look, it's January 1st, 2024. I've been got a cut for what I'm saying. I got the hair back out. Nothing too crazy. Um, It's the new year, bro. It's 2024. I ain't even gotta say too much, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say what I gotta say. But look, man. It's 2024. It's the new year. We starting off the new year right. You feel what I'm saying? We at the gym. I'm not even going, you mean? Where that joint at? Right there. We at the gym. You feel what I'm saying? Better go put this work in. Um, and just get the work, bro. There's a lot. Oh, shoot. There's a lot that um people want to do this year. You know, a lot you want to do, a lot I want to do. Things that nature. You're not going to be able to do it if you don't, you know, put yourself in the situation to actually get up and go do it. If you don't get up and go do it, bro, you're not going to get done what you got to get done, bro. You're just going to sit there and be like, dang, I wish, I wish, I wish. Bro, you got to get up, actually go do it, and not just say, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this day. No, I'm going to do it tomorrow. No, 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 I'm going to do it the next day because I was bit. No, bro, you got to stop saying you're going to do it. Get up, lock in, focus, and actually do it because... Why you keep telling yourself, oh, I'm going to do it and not do it? You mean? Now you're setting yourself, um, holding yourself back. And 
You can't do that because then you're just going to keep doing it and never get done what you want to get done. So you can't just keep telling yourself that, bro. You got locked in. What to do what you're going to do. And whatever the case is, bro, just lock in. Like, if you got to stop doing certain things, you know, stop buying certain things, stop, you know, eating at certain places, you know, spending money on certain subscriptions and, you know, drinking all the time, smoking, partying, whatever you do, you feel like it's taking up all your money and time that you could be do, doing something good with, like, you know, taking care of your body. You know what they say, man, because health is wealth. So you got to take care of your body, bro. You sitting here putting bad stuff for your body every day, you know, or every weekend, whatever your case may be. You know, you mess yourself up, bro. Like, when you turn 40, 50, your body going to be in pain. You might have diabetes or something. I don't know. Like, you could really hurt your body if you just treat your body like crap. At any age, you could hurt your body, you know? So, while you're young or whatever age you are, just take care of yourself, bro. Take care of your body. But start young. So, when you're 30, 40, 50, you looking great. You're moving like you're still 20, even though you're 60 years old. With the little muscle tone popping out, too. Looking like you're t or something. Not t -peen, Like a wrestler. Like, come on. Looking like, you mean? Looking like LeBron. You see, LeBron take care of himself. You got, if you want to take care of yourself... And look like LeBron do at 39, 40, however it is. He's somewhere around there. Don't don't quote me. He's somewhere around uh, 30 something, 40, maybe 41. I don't know. But look, point is, if you really take care of yourself, bro, really lucky, in, you get in best shape of your life, um, and just get in the best mental state, and you know, physically, mentally, in your health, you know, spiritually, all that. You know I mean? But you gotta also put God first, cause he ain't do it. God did. Feel what I'm saying? Kick no word out, God. No cap. No cap. But hey, we finna hit this workout, in, man. I'ma done chit chatting. I'ma hit y'all when I get back, man. Let's go. What's good, y'all? We finna just, you know, chit chat tonight. Feel what I'm saying? W set up. I know, kind of. It's a bit messy right now, y'all. But once I clean everything up and situate it and stuff, reorganize it, it'll look better. But anyway, we got a lot to talk about, so we finna dive right in, man. A lot of people be telling me I should go out. I'm saying I'm only 20 something. I should go out and, you know, party. But I'll still do drunk and smoke and. I don't know what else to do, stuff like that. And I'd be telling people, like, that's cool, you know, for you. But for me, bro, that's not me. That's not my character. That's not my vibe. That's not something I would do. That's not something I would enjoy doing. I know I wouldn't enjoy that. Because while you're doing that, I'm working on getting my body right, staying in shape, staying healthy, staying right mentally, physically. Emotionally, spiritually, while you're tearing your body down, I'm fixing my body, you know, taking care of it, because health is wealth, so when you're 50, you're not all beat down and broken down, and your body's in hurt, pain, you got these health conditions, when you're 50, you take care of your body now, so when you're 50, your body's going to be working like it's like 20. Like LeBron's like, what, 40 years old, 30 something? And his body is in crazy shape. He's still moving like he's 20. He probably don't even be having back pains unless maybe he like fall on his back or something a bad way, you know what I mean? But like, that boy moves like nothing. Not a lot of people his age really be moving like that, especially playing sports still. That's insane. Most people start retiring by age, you know? So, that goes to show you, like, there's way more important things you could be doing besides going out on the weekends, every weekend, every other weekend, whatever you may do. There's so much more things you could be doing. You could be, you know, working on 5 to 9, working your 9 to 5. You could be 
you know, help your mind out spiritually, mentally, um, so much, bro, you be in money, we, there's mad stuff you could do, bro, we read books, the library, spend time with your friends, your family, your kids, whatever the case is, like, there's just mad stuff that you could do besides going out, and that's how I see it, like, there's so much, a bunch of other things that we're doing besides going out. It's not me, you know, I could just chill at home and drink music. I mean, drink juice and listen to music. Like, just any other way to waste money for, like, it's just stupid and pointless to me. Waste of time. You know, I just think it's dumb. Like, you go ahead and do that. Blow your bread. That's not you. Waste of money. As for me, man, I'm going to keep working myself. <laughs> And keep getting stronger and stuff like that, man. But yeah, I'll go ahead and mess your body up, bro. Well, you in 10 years talking about all my body and being. I don't want to hear none of that. That's, that's, that's on you, bro. That's choices, decisions you decided to make. So that's the regret. The stuff you're going to have to live with, bro. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to tell you, y'all boys got each other mind right, bro. Really lock in and focus on the future. Focus on the now and get your yourself ready and set for now. So then you can be straight. You feel me? You don't even gotta like really. You don't gotta like worry about it, but just know that one day it's gonna be there. You gotta make sure you make the right decisions now. So then you can just always know you gotta make the right decisions to be straight. You know, like. It's one of those things, like, if you really know what I'm saying, you were locked in like that for real, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know, then you just, you don't know, bro. You're just not really locked in right there, like, where I'm at. You're not locked in all the way for real. You're kind of just like, oh, all right.